All right, hello everybody. Uh, this is AJ Mon, and uh, as always, I have to do something different because consistency is just not with me. Uh, I'm going to start my Let's Play of Kango Legend of the Nine on the Xbox 360. Um, this is a game that I tried to Let's Play on my older channel, uh, Thanks for Playing, and I couldn't beat level one, or at least if I did, it was embarrassing, embarrassing how I did it. So I'm going to try again, um, this time on hard, or difficult as Genki likes to call it, I've already beaten the game with every character on normal difficulty, but um, in the process, I've basically figured out how this game works. If you happen to see my older video, which I'll probably thumbnail in just to kind of have as a reference point, um, I was doing everything wrong. Like, quite literally everything. Um, as arcadey as this game is, if you read the fucking manual in the game, it'll tell you what to do, or at least it'll give you all of the assets that are available to you. ない頃から父に武芸の手ほどきを受けてきた彼は日本一の武芸者天下無双となることを目指し今武者修行の旅に出ようとしている旅路の先に自らが戦うべきより強き者たちがいく人待ち構えているかそしてそのすべてを乗
心の修行は足らぬところだがその強さは本物のようだ仕方がない生きて稽古をつけてやろうかそれとも得体の知れぬじじいが怖いかバカにしやがる Okay, so that was that riveting cutscene. Okay, so I'm gonna mess around with the stamina here. Now, the thing is, I killed every one of those guys in a few hits. That is not the case with bosses, the other samurai that you actually fight. Every stage ends or begins with one to two samurais that you have to kill. So, what I'm doing right now is if you look in the top left of the screen, hopefully it's visible or viewable and easily seen.、Uh, the green meter, as it fills up, that's my stamina. That's as many attacks as I can do, that's、um, how much strength I have against getting grappled. But if it's full and you stand still, you actually regain health, albeit very slowly, but in a way that you can take advantage of. See, the AI won't actually attack me so long as I'm a few steps away. So basically, you step forward, you regain a little bit of health, and you keep doing this.、Uh, I, I'm probably not going to fill it up all the way just because it's kind of pointless. I don't really need health to kill this guy,、uh, I need him to have no stamina. So herein begins the super annoying way of killing bosses. Now, I could do my guard cancel approach to kill him, and that'll typically work. But the problem with that is, after I beat this stage, I'm gonna get experience points. And if you kill enemies with a instant kill attack, or, well, that's really all you can call it, with an instant kill, you get a third as opposed to just two、uh, experience points. These can be used to increase your health, stamina, attack, and defense.、Um, although you don't want to increase stamina if you're using the guard cancel approach. So, what this turns into is rather than attacking him and grappling him and trying to get his stamina down, what would, some would consider the legitimate way, it's better to just run around the level until he runs out of stamina. Now, I'll also be out of stamina, so technically I, have, I run the risk of getting instantly killed just as much as he does.、Uh, it's level one,、um, I, I should be fine, but the AI kind of acts sporadically. I mean, I've died on the first level probably more than any other level in the game, and that goes for every character in the game.、Uh, the first level is typically the hardest. You are the weakest.、Um, for most players, you're going to have the least amount of experience with your character or the game in general. It's, level one's a, a fucking mess.、Um, after this, it gets a lot easier, though. So, what I'm going to do is if you lock on your character and then hit the X button, you'll go into a grapple. Now, all you have to do, and I almost got it there, is you. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to focus so I don't die. Uh, okay, that was bad. So you, you hit X to grapple them when their stamina is low. Push towards the direction, hit X, and then it was brief because I wanted to kill them quickly.、Uh, their arrow on them will turn to orange. And then from there, you just hit Y or B, and it's an instant kill. So I know that was probably confusing, but I'll kind of go over it again in the next chapter. I might split these up in post production, but、uh, I'm going to keep playing and do level 2 now. So, I want all of my stuff into attack power, and that's good for the upgrade. So, the next menu,、uh, it's just, you can apply experience points that you earn. 3,000 is pretty typical. I only got one special kill, so that's a little bit more than I would have gotten if I had just killed the boss normally.、Uh, but at this point, you just need to find a good move that you can kind of use to carry you throughout the game.、Uh, typically, YYY or BBB are the best attacks. But,、uh, let's see what I got.、Um, no, I don't want that. I'm going to go with. Yeah, that's good. So, YYY of stance 2, and then from there I want to set stance 2 as my base stance. I still have 1500 experience points. I'll throw it into this, which I'll probably never use, but you know, it's, it's fun to spend those. From there, you just continue on. They'll tell you that you're wasting points, but you can't do anything with them, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, another funny thing about this game is that it's really old and autosave really wasn't a thing yet. Or at least it was, and people just didn't know how to implement it. So in this, you have to autosave after each level, which is a pain. And that's really all there is to that.